in the heart of downtown, nestled amidst the bustling streets and neon lights, there stood a seemingly innocuous eatery known as Pizza Pit. To the casual observer, it was just another fast food restaurant, but to those who had been part of its labyrinthine depths, it was a place where dread and unease festered like a festering wound. I was one such unfortunate soul who had spent the last five years of my life working in this establishment, seeing more than I ever bargained for. My name is Jack, and Pizza Pit had become my personal purgatory. The restaurant was open 24 hours a day, catering to the insomniacs, the late-night partygoers, and the after-shift crowd. It had its regulars, quirky night owls, and the usual suspects. But beneath the familiar neon lights and the aroma of freshly baked bread, there lurked something sinister. It started as subtle things. Knives vanishing from their designated slots, vegetables rearranging themselves in the fridge, and orders mysteriously switching tabs on the computer. I thought it was just a side effect of exhaustion, or perhaps the quirks of my co-workers. But soon I realized there was something more to it. One fateful night, as the clock struck midnight and the downtown buzzed with life outside, the overhead lights flickered, casting eerie shadows across the stainless steel countertops. The air turned icy cold, causing me to shiver. And it wasn't the air conditioning, it was something else entirely. I could hear faint whispers, like ghostly murmurs carried by the wind. They were indecipherable, all jumbled chorus of voices that seemed to emanate from the walls themselves. My heart raced as I tried to locate the source, but it was futile. Then, without warning, the stove came to life. Flames erupted from the burners with an otherworldly intensity. I staggered back, horrified, but the fire did not harm me. It danced with malevolence, casting grotesque shadows on the walls, like ancient specters performing an infernal ballet. Terrified and bewildered, I reached for the fire extinguisher, but before I could use it, the flames vanished as suddenly as they had appeared. The kitchen returned to its eerie calm, as if nothing had happened. I stood there, trembling, unsure of what I had just witnessed. But I couldn't dwell on it for long. The night was far from over. The unsettling occurrences escalated. Plates levitated off counters and smashed against the floor unprovoked. Chairs slid out from beneath tables as if moved by an invisible hand. Unearthly laughter echoed through the empty dining area, making my blood run cold. The customers began to notice, too. They would complain about feeling watched or hearing strange sounds coming from the kitchen. Some claimed to have seen shadows moving on their own. It wasn't long before rumors spread, and Pizza Pit's once thriving business began to wither. As a loyal employee, I couldn't just abandon my post. I felt a strange, morbid fascination with the eerie events unfolding around me. I needed to unravel the mystery that clung to this place like a suffocating shroud. One evening, as I was cleaning the dining area, I discovered a hidden door beneath a dusty corner table. It was concealed behind a trapdoor covered in old, worn-out carpets. My curiosity got the better of me, and I pried it open. Beneath the trapdoor was a narrow, rickety staircase that descended into darkness. The air grew damp and musty as I ventured further underground. Cobwebs clung to my face, and my footsteps echoed ominously. The descent seemed endless, but finally, 
The walls were lined with shelves upon shelves of dusty books and strange occult artifacts. The flickering light of my phone revealed that these books contained forbidden knowledge, incantations, and rituals that should never have seen the light of day. Among the artifacts, I found an ornate, ancient-looking mirror. It emanated an eerie energy that sent shivers down my spine. As I gazed into it, my reflection seemed to warp and contort, as if trying to escape the glass prison. Before I could investigate further, I heard footsteps approaching. Panic surged through me as I hastily retreated up the staircase, leaving the mirror and the sinister chamber behind. Back in the restaurant, I couldn't shake the feeling that I had stumbled upon a well-guarded secret, a portal to something beyond human comprehension. My co-workers were oblivious to my discovery, but I couldn't ignore the growing darkness that seemed to seep into every corner of Pizza Pit. The restaurant's atmosphere grew increasingly oppressive. Customers came and went with nervous glances, and even the bravest among them couldn't ignore the unsettling aura that clung to the place. Pizza Pit's business dwindled, and rumors of its haunted nature spread like wildfire. One night, as I was closing up, I heard a plaintive cry from the kitchen. It was the voice of my co-worker, Sarah. I rushed inside to find her standing by the stove, her face contorted in terror. She pointed at the stove, where the flames had once again erupted with malevolent intensity. I tried to approach her, but an invisible force pushed me back, preventing me from reaching her. I watched in horror as the flames consumed her, her agonized screams echoing in my ears. Then, as suddenly as it had begun, the inferno vanished, leaving no trace of Sarah behind. I was left alone in the kitchen, the stench of burnt flesh lingering in the air. I knew then that whatever haunted Pizza Pit was not merely a mischievous spirit, it was something far more sinister. The police were called, and I recounted the horrifying events of that night. But when they investigated the restaurant, they found nothing amiss. No sign of fire, no trace of Sarah, and no hidden chamber beneath the trapdoor. It was as if the restaurant had erased all evidence of its dark secrets. Haunted and traumatized, I quit my job at Pizza Pit, vowing never to return. But the horrors of that place continued to haunt my dreams. I couldn't escape the feeling that I had unleashed something malevolent, something that would forever lurk in the shadows of my mind. Years passed, and Pizza Pit became a forsaken relic of the past, a place avoided by all who had heard the tales of its dark history. I had tried to move on, to forgot the horrors I had witnessed, but they clung to me like a curse. One stormy night, as I lay in bed, I heard a faint, ghostly whisper in the wind. It beckoned me, pulling me back to that wretched place. Against my better judgment, I found myself standing outside the abandoned restaurant, the rain pouring down in torrents. With trepidation, I pushed open the door and stepped inside. The interior was as I remembered it, frozen in time, the neon lights flickering eerily. I made my way to the trapdoor, compelled by an irresistible force. Descending into the chamber once more, I felt a suffocating dread. The ancient mirror still stood there, unchanged. As I gazed into it, my reflection twisted and contorted once more, but this time it spoke. You cannot escape what you have unleashed, it hissed, its voice a cacophony of whispers. The darkness has claimed you. Suddenly, the mirror shattered, and I was plunged into darkness. I felt a presence all around me, 
a malevolent force that seemed to feed on my fear. I was no longer in control of my own body, my movements dictated by an unseen hand. I watched helplessly as I began to etch strange symbols into the walls with a knife. The symbols glowed with an unnatural light, and the room seemed to come alive with sinister energy. I had become a vessel for the darkness that had consumed Pizza Pit. The walls closed in on me, and the chamber became a suffocating abyss. I screamed, but my voice was drowned out by the chorus of malevolent whispers. I had become a part of the restaurant's unholy history, forever bound to its dark secrets. As I write this, trapped in this eternal nightmare, I can only hope that someone will read my story and heed its warning. Stay away from Pizza Pit, for it is a place where darkness reigns, and once it claims you, there is no escape.